Hey guys, Bob from Gill Skills. Today, we're gonna to be just simply casually scrapping out this fuse box here. So, if you are so inclined, feel free to sit back, relax, sip a beverage of your choosing, and uh, just enjoy the inner goodness that's gonna come out of this thing. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. I mean, for one thing, there's a decent amount of brass. That is for darn sure. And uh, I'm seeing a decent amount of aluminum in here as well. Let's see if I can get the uh, Allen wrench in there and start loosening it up a little bit. There we go. Now, I know I'm going to get a little bit of brass and a little bit of aluminum and, and whatnot, but other than that, I honestly don't know what's going to come out of this. I don't know if any surprises are going to be in here or what the deal is. So, you're going on this journey with me. And that is one of the funnest parts of it all, really. All right. We're going to have our handy-dandy magnet standing by here because the, a lot of this stuff is going to be aluminum and that that right there is aluminum it's not stainless steel it's not like barely hanging on to the magnet or anything that is indeed aluminum so i'm going to start a pile for aluminum and that is a decent amount of aluminum right there so i'll set that right aside Yeah, <laughs> There's a daddy long leg spider hanging out in there. Just chilling. <laughs> chilling, a little bit of illin. Now, if you guys like scrap videos and things like that, throw a like in the uh you know, throw throw a comment in the, the description. Wow, I can't even talk today. Throw me a like and a comment. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. That would be that would be fan diddly tastic. I mean, just absolutely out of this world. <laughs> Come on. Let's get you out of there. <laughs> that daddy long legs is running for dodge. <laughs> See if we can try this another way here. Maybe we'll try this this way. See if I can. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. Get a lot more leverage. Throughout this entire process, I'll be using, I'll be referencing the good old magnet. Just because that magnet tells all, man. It tells you, you know, it gives you the difference between. Um, it, it, you can tell the difference between aluminum and like stainless steel and stuff like that if you don't want to grind it or, um, you know, use any other method there. Some more aluminum, by the way. <coughs> so we'll keep right on going here. You know, there was a uh, YouTube channel that I really enjoy watching. Uh, she's an absolute delight to watch and to hang out and watch on uh, her live streams. The uh, channel's called, um, I think it's called The Frugal Family. Uh, and she she goes around and she, so The Frugal Family goes around uh, to dumpsters and collects all sorts of stuff, you know, that's still potentially good. Um, you know, clothing, uh, food, things of that nature, and then she turns around and donates it. You know, she keeps a lot of it for her family and she donates it, you know, a lot of that stuff. And my hat's off to her. My proverbial hat's off to her because I'm not wearing one right now. Um, I love that. And of course, I watch many dumpster divers, uh, like, uh, for example, um, you know, Diving with R5 and uh, Diving with Purpose and NWI Diver, just to name a few. Those people are the unsung heroes. Think about how much waste 
goes on in, in this country, <clears throat> and probably all countries, but, you know, the U.S. in particular, you know, there's a lot of waste here. We are a waste, have a waste mentality. Um, there's some more aluminum, by the way. So, you know, they are the unsung heroes that go in and, and kind of rescue this stuff and uh, allow us to be able to reuse it or, uh, you know, feed, you know, the homeless or feed feed people that truly need it or get some clothing to someone that truly needs it. And I, I find that admirable. I really do. Uh, one, one question she had on one of her live streams, and I'm talking about the frugal family, is... Uh, you know, what does frugal living mean to you? And, uh, oh, those are aluminum too. That's sweet. Awesome. And to me, it, it, it's a straightforward, you know, it's a straightforward thing. Uh, frugal life to me means that you squeeze every bit of practicality uh, and value out of what you have. You know, and, and, you know, with a modest budget. So, you know, it, it, you know, if you don't have much and you're on a budget, you try to get the very most out of those things. You reuse what you can reuse. Um, you repurpose what you can repurpose and, and you make things last longer. And you recycle. Um, that's, that's what I think about, you know, as frugal. You know, frugal kind of goes hand in hand, in my opinion, with uh, recycling and um, just being really conscious, you know, conservative, eh, maybe, yeah. Um, but in the end, it's all about making the most with what you have, you know, not everybody can afford new stuff all the time and whatnot. So you got to reuse everything that you have and, and squeeze Every bit that you can out of it. So I, I, I just, I, I, my hats off to to her. Um, you know, guys, check out, you know, check out the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, my frugal family, great person, great channel. Um, diving with R five has actually gotten me onto that channel. So hats off to her as well. And by the way, that's another great channel for you to check out. Um, she would have my hide if I didn't say that. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else we got here? We got a decent amount of, I think these are brass, if I'm not mistaken. But there's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and get them off. They might be zinc plated. Shoot. Go. See if I answer my own question here. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that's sticking to a magnet. So that is ferrous material. It could be stainless steel, but I, I would just put this in the same as uh, the same pile as just regular steel. Because, I mean, it, the magnet grabs a hold of it hard. Some of these may not be, though. Some of these may be zinc plated brass, and that does happen. So you got to watch out. You always got to be using your magnet to see what you got. But yes, um, I, I, I enjoy frugal living. I, I really do. I, I enjoy uh, getting the most out of what I have. And we really all should have that mentality. You know what I'm saying? Don't let anything that can go to waste go to waste uh, if you have the ability to do something about it. Because if, if you let stuff go to waste, it's... That stuff that's going to waste, somebody else could have. Somebody else could use. It's, you know what I'm saying. I'm probably beating a dead horse here. But I'm passionate about the subject. You know, I'm always about recycling. And I'm always about doing things yourself. And that's another thing I'd like to talk about too. Doing things yourself, DIY. You know, I've learned so much by doing things myself. You know, with automotive stuff, house stuff, you name it. 
you know, so it's kind of a twofold thing. You're saving money by doing a lot of these different things yourself, but you're also gaining the knowledge to be able to do these things. And you can pass that knowledge on to someone else and help them save money. You know what I mean? It's a teach a person to fish mentality. You don't give a person a fish, you teach a person to fish so that they can eat for a lifetime. I am a firm believer in that. You know, there are some things in life that we're just not going to be able to tackle, and that's understandable. We can leave that to the professionals, right? Um, it, there are things that I've had to throw my hands up and, and, and pay to have fixed and, and pay people to do. Like, I won't touch my boiler. I won't, I won't touch my furnace. Because uh, I don't, I, honestly, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know what some of the scrap metals are entailing, you know, with a, with a furnace, but I, you know, I don't know how to fix one. And uh, if I mess it up or if I screw something up, it could be a really costly repair. So I'm not willing to, you know, try to fix that. Somebody else might be able to, and, and my hat's off to you if you attempt to fix it yourself. Uh, I'm just going to assume at this point that these are all... This looks to me, this, this bar here down here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bar down here that looks like it's copper. But I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that if you have the ability and you've got the time to do it, do it. You're going to... It's going to take you a little bit of time, but it'll save you some money and you'll be gaining that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And you'll you'll become experienced and versed and you can teach other people. I mean, that's the biggest part right there is helping others. You're helping yourself and that's the first step to help others, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So... Let's talk about recycling for a second. You know, there's different levels of recycling, right? Like, for example, um, you know, scrap metal recycling, what I'm doing right now. I'm recycling metal. You know, what, what is the reason why people would want to do this, right? Why, why would somebody want to mess around with some junky old... Um, why, why would somebody want to mess around with some junky old fuse box? You know, when they could, you know, have something better to do or be watching TV or whatever. Well, the answer is simple. I mean, this isn't for everybody, but for the, the answer for everybody that is doing it is quite simple. I mean, the number one reason, I mean, if anybody tells you otherwise, um, they're lying to you. But the number one reason for re recycling you know, for metal scrap and whatnot, is to make some money. Um, you know, and you can make money. You can make a living doing this, which is awesome. But there are other reasons to do it. There are other reasons to recycle metals, uh, recycle anything, really. Um, you know, my a very close second to making money is that I'm helping the environment. I'm helping humanity in a way because all this metal that would go into a landfill would rust and disintegrate and just go back to the earth instead of that happening, you know, we're bringing it to a scrapyard so they can reuse it. You know, this could be a, a, a new door for a car or something down the line. Who knows? But, um, Recycling, you know, that, that's a very close second. You know, I know that I'm, I'm doing my part to try to recycle what I can. And that is a part of being frugal. Humanity should take a page and be more frugal with the earth. In truth, we really should. Because we take a lot of things on this planet for granted that we should not take for granted. Uh, let's see. Oh, all right, that's coming off. So, you know, we're doing it for money. We're doing it to help the environment. We're doing it for humanity. Oh, that's 
Ferris as well. And if you can think of any other reasons why you recycle metals or recycle anything for that matter, why you're passionate about it, leave a comment in, in you know leave a comment below. I'd love to see what you have to say. You know, another reason why I do this particular form of recycling and, you know, scrapping and whatnot is because it's very therapeutic. You know, it's it's therapeutic to me. I enjoy doing this. It calms my nerves. I think this is a copper bar. That's awesome. And it's heavy, too. I don't think this is bronze. I think this is actually copper, which is awesome. So I'll set that aside. <coughs> and I got another one over here, so I'll go ahead and grab that. I got to take a few more screws out. You know, I take my, my recycling pretty seriously. Like, there, there are different types of people out there that do different types of recycling. You know, like for example, I've always said that there's like a hobbyist, which will do it every now and then and uh, kind of save up their scrap metal, like, a, like in a piggy bank, if you will, you know, and, and maybe cash out once or twice a year. There's the part-time scrapper that has like a full-time job and would like to supplement their income and, you know, it gives them something to do on the weekends or, or whatever. And they, you know, they make a decent amount off of it. It's like, it's like a part-time job. That's why I call it part-time. And then you get to full-timers, which do this all the time, not just scrapping out metal, but like e-waste recycling and things like that. There's a lot of money to be had doing that. But everybody scraps differently because of that. You know, everybody um, processes the, 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 the metals differently. So like, for example, I, I like to take as much plastic and junk off of my metals before I go to the scrapyard. To me, it's, uh, it's a matter of respect uh, to the scrapyard and I firmly believe in karma. And you know, if they, if you treat them well, they're going to treat you well. <clears throat> not, a, <clears throat> not every scrapper or, or um, you know, person that recycles has that luxury. You know, if you're a full-timer, it's all about volume. It's all about volume, and you've got to make sure that you are pushing that stuff out. You're getting it. You're out there. You're on the prowl to find this stuff, and uh, you're turning it in as quickly as possible with a minimal amount of processing. And it's a constant cycle, you know, that you can't really necessarily, you can't really necessarily process the way you want to. I mean, you're losing a little money doing that, but you're saving time. And the time for a full timer is worth more than uh, the few extra dollars they would make by doing something like I'm doing right now. For me, this is not my primary income. This is what I do on the side. I, I consider myself a part-time scrapper. You know, I do this on the side. It's very therapeutic for me. Sometimes I'll sit here and I'll do this while drinking a beer and just relaxing, you know? And I make a little extra money doing it too. I'm maximizing the amount of money I would make out of all the scrap I get because I'm separating the coppers and the aluminums and uh, I'm turning breakage, you know, like aluminum breakage into clean aluminum by taking all that junk off of it. Same thing with brass, same thing with the copper. Speaking of copper, here's another piece here. Yeah. So we're getting there. <sighs> but everybody's got their own way. And I, I see people online. There are people that comment online and, and um, kind of, I don't know, they get these preconceived notions about others and the way that they scrap. Well, you got to realize everybody's different. Everybody's situation is different. Now you got to ask yourself: Is it an experience that's causing them to scrap the way they are, or is it their circumstances in life? You know, is it the amount of time that they have? 
It's just something to think about, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to go after next. Let's see here. Hmm. Tell you what, there is a lot of interesting tidbits here, that is for sure. Um, hmm. Let me grab a socket, I'll be right back. All right, so I guess what I'm trying to say is, is you know, if your, if your method of, of um, recycling, dumpster diving, scrapping, whatever the case may be works for you, you continue to do it the way you want to do it. You know, you could take advice, you could take advice. All right, this here, is aluminum. Let's see what else do I want here. Oh, we got these fuses. And these fuses have a bit of brass in them too. I'll go ahead and set them aside. We got a ton of brass screws over here. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about live streaming for a little bit. I know I've said this a few times, but I also know. Wow, that looks old. <laughs> I know, you know. Some of you may not have heard this, but I'll, I'll tell you anyway. I don't live stream as much anymore because I, I, I've i kind of lost touch in what I want to do with my live streams. You know, I want there to be more than just people interacting. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be an entertaining experience for you guys. I want it to be a learning experience for you guys in some way, shape, or form. And uh, I don't want you to be bored. And I don't want people leaving or searching for something else to do. Or You know what I mean? I don't want to do that to you. I don't want to put you guys through that. Your time is precious. You know? You've only got so much time during the day to be able to watch YouTube and do the things that you want to do. You don't want to watch somebody just sitting there shooting the breeze with somebody, right? All right, that's got to be Ferris. It's all rusted. So I'll put that down there. <coughs> There's a bunch of brass screws in here. I'm going to go ahead and take those out one at a time. Uh, looks like there's some copper bits in here too. I'll take that all day long. Copper bits! Okay. Let's just double check that real quick. Oh yeah, that's brass. Um, so yeah. Sorry, I get sidetracked kind of easily, as you guys probably already know. So yeah, live streaming um, has been put on a bit of a hiatus. Um, I don't mind streaming with Crystal, but even she's not getting tired of it, but 
you know, it loses its luster after a while. You know, you don't have time to do certain things. She's got a lot going on with her family right now, by the way. You guys, check out her channel if you haven't done so already. Um, R5 Adventures Live. I think she changed her channel to R5 Adventures Live or something to that effect. But her second channel, which is exploding, is Diving with R5. You really got to check that out. If you're into recycling and things of that nature, you definitely want to check that out. So anyway, I you know I, I've been I've been utilizing my resources by trying to watch other people's stuff for a little while. You know I've uh, invested a little bit in uh, cryptocurrency, which <laughs> cryptocurrency is not really doing all that great right now. Uh, hopefully we'll see a rebound after all these millionaires and billionaires stop manipulating the market. But. Uh, yeah, right now it's not doing all that great. I'm a big advocate of um, Dogecoin, as is a lot of other people. They believe, a lot of people, a lot of companies believe in Dogecoin and feel that it should be the Burger King to Bitcoin's McDonald's. Now, if Bitcoin don't take it, you know, take off. Ethereum will. Ethereum's another one of them coins. Right, let's see if that's going to come out. Oh. That's not going to work. But I'm not trying to talk anybody into... Wow! Wow! <laughs> that broke. That broke. Oh my god. Let's see. Let's see if I can use this. I don't know if I'm going to have very much good luck here, but I'm going to try. But yeah, please don't think I'm trying to advertise cryptocurrency or trying to talk anybody into doing it. I'm just letting you guys know what I've been doing. Oh, yeah. Wow, that just does not want to come out. Like at all. It's brass too, they're all brass. But they just don't want to come out. All right, fine. We'll focus on something else. All right, we got some brass screws in here. Let me go ahead and see if I can get those out. There is a uh, e-waste and scrap metal recycler called Romantic. Shout out to uh, Romantic. Feel free to check out his channel. He has a video on how to take apart and get the silver out of these breakers. These breaker boxes here. And uh, I've got about a dozen of them myself. And I'm very much looking forward to extracting the silver out of them as well. And I think there's some brass and other stuff in here as well. But uh, shout out to Romantic for that. You guys should check out his channel. There's an awesome channel called, uh, well, it's his name, I guess. It's called Ian Matthews. <laughs> you should check that one out too. That's an e-waste and um, scrap recycler, metal scrap recycler. Trying to think if I don't name your name, please don't be offended with me. It's just that I'm not thinking of it right right at this particular second. Um, trying to think who else? Who else is really good? Scrap Pallet Man, 
is a great channel. Um, there's not too many people that have not heard of Scrap Palette Man, but uh, great channel to watch. Steel Scrap Kingdom is another one. Uh, Steel Scrap Kingdom is a full timer. You couldn't see me. Kuntz is in C O O N T S, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so you couldn't see me uh, is another fantastic channel. You guys should check out you couldn't see me. Um, I don't know how. So I don't know if those are going to come out. I'm just going to keep unscrewing until something comes loose. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> All right. Well, that's very ferrous. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? As they come to mind, I'll mention them, but uh, there's quite a few recyclers that I thoroughly enjoy watching on a regular basis. Uh, and uh, they are, like I said, they are the unsung heroes of recycling. You know what I mean? And they make a few extra bucks doing what they do. Yeah, yeah, they do. But you know what? They don't have to do it. There's other things they could do. They can get another job or whatever. But they choose to do those things because they know in their hearts that recycling is the right thing to do. Saving that stuff from oblivion in the landfill is the right thing to do. And sure, you make a little money too. Some people, I don't, I don't think it's the driving factor of some people. Some. You know, like, um, you know, I, I might very well be putting myself out on a limb by saying this, but I, Scrap and Pallet Man, he's a, he's a heck of a guy. Um, I think, I think he enjoys doing it just to enjoy doing it. I don't think he's doing it for the money, you know, and, uh, you know, he enjoys people and he enjoys interacting with people. There we go. You guys bored with me yet? <laughs> I wouldn't blame you if you were. Uh, all right. I'm going to need to put some force on these. Or no? Just trying to figure out how these are staying on here. There's a nice brass bar there. Yeah. I'm not sure how that... Yeah. I'm not sure how that... Uh, box is going to come apart. Nope, some more aluminum. Nope, let's try this. So yeah, we're, we're talking about a variety of different stuff tonight, aren't we? <laughs> oh, um, vid vulture. Is another one, guys. Uh, Vid Vulture is another one that I like watching very really. Now that dude, that dude goes around on a scooter. Okay, he 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 does that full time along with a few other things, you know, and dabbles with stocks and whatnot. But he goes around on a scooter and he collects that stuff. He collects the scrap metal, and he co collects stuff that he could turn around and say uh, resell. I think that's freaking awesome. I need something. I need another screwdriver is what I need. The GoPro's tried to stop on me several times, guys, so I apologize in advance if it stops again. There we go. Perfect. 
Uh, E-Waste Mike, if I didn't mention him, uh, he's got a fantastic channel. I'll tell you, I, you know, I consider him a friend. You know, there's a lot of people that you meet on YouTube. You know, when you start going around YouTube communities and hanging out in chats and whatnot, you start meeting people and you start making friends. Um, you know, and, and people start having these epiphanies, you know, you know, people that are, that feel like they're alone and whatnot, they're not alone. They've got friends online. They've got those friends online. I know in being in person and online is two separate things, but someone is, is there for you. And I've met a lot of good friends online. I am super proud of all of them, and I'm super happy that I've met all of them. Um... Okay, that's interesting. It looks like some there's some copper and stuff in here. Scrappers are probably like yelling at the camera right now. It's like, do this, do this, do that. I'm sorry, guys. I kind of do things at my own pace. And I'm not perfect. But I do try. I don't know if that's... Oh, yeah, that's definitely Ferris. What about this? No! No! Son of a biscuit! It sticks! Oh, I know why it sticks. Haha! -ha. Oh, man. That was a close call. It's the lock nut washers. Ha <laughs> ha! The lock nut washers were what was sticking. These screws are most definitely brass. Okay, there's no lock nut washer there. Let me set that aside. We've got a couple of screws there. Let me go ahead and take that out. And ah, that looks interesting. This may be some zinc plated copper. Do you guys like these casual scraps or would you prefer uh, the more traditional method of scrapping that I that I usually do? Uh, you guys leave a comment below and let me know what you think, how you feel, all that fun stuff. Your opinion matters to me, guys. I mean, after all, you guys are the ones that watch my content. All right, we already know those lock nuts are, there we go, they're ferrous. Let's check this one out. That's definitely ferrous. All right, those are not ferrous. But the question is, I'm gonna use a file here. I, I'm not really sure what it is. I mean, some copper or brass might have rubbed off on it. I'm gonna use a file. It's brass. Okay. Let me just. Yeah. Yeah, that's brass. It's interesting. 